Well, hello again, Buccaneer fans. Time for our first Buccaneer update of the week, and we're joined by head softball coach Shane Winkler. His Charleston Southern softball team went 1-3 and three this past weekend at the Florida Atlantic Parents Weekend Tournament. Coach, more tough competition for you guys. The highlight, of course, had to be the 6-0 victory over Virginia Tech on Sunday. Oh, without a doubt. Our whole uh, idea is to kind of stress consistency throughout uh, right now. That's why we played such a, such a tough schedule. we got to, we got to bring it on a daily basis. Uh, we really did throughout the weekend. We struggled on Saturday, the first day of the tournament, after getting rained out on Friday. Didn't swing the bats. Then uh, we put it all together against Virginia Tech. Kimberly Hobbs threw an amazing game, shutting out a uh, very solid ACC team. Uh, and then we swung the bats very well as well. Hit, hit two home runs. Uh, Aaron Kegley had a big three-run home run in the first inning to set the tone. Uh, Megan Lombard also had a home run throughout the game. So against Virginia Tech, we finally put it all together. You mentioned Hobbs had the shutout victory uh, over Virginia Tech for the week. Uh, she was perfect in her ERA. Didn't win that Big South Player of the Week nomination, but still her finest week as a collegian and something that hopefully carries over into the conference portion. Of this game. That's the biggest thing with her. We've been talking consistency as well, and she, uh, she finally brought it this weekend. Uh, we look for much bigger things from her the rest of the way as we get into conference play. We're right at our midway point of the season now. So it's, it's time for us to really step up our game a little bit. Uh, she did so, our offense has, has done so uh, here and there, and it's, it's really time to put it together, and we're looking for our midweek games to do that this week. And Megan Lombard continues to crush the ball, batting over 400, 16 extra base hits, five of them home runs. That She's been on fire against very tough competition. Yeah, she's one of the triple crown leaders in the, in the conference right now. We were looking for big things uh, from her going into the season. Uh, I don't know if anyone was looking for this big. Right. Uh, we knew she had the ability to uh, compete for that school home run record, which is eight, and she's a, a, a good couple weeks away from oh, that, sure. if, if not a couple games, the way she's swinging the right. bat right now. Uh, right there as well, Aaron Kegley's got five home runs. Megan Hall's also swinging the bat extremely well. Shayla Combs also over 300. Now we're looking for some some of our hitters in the bottom of the order to start picking up a little bit. Despite the fact that the weekend overall wasn't quite up to your standards, you guys are still over 500, 13, 12, and 1 with the tie coming against Campbell in the game that uh, wasn't concluded because of darkness. But as tough as the schedule has been, Syracuse, Florida Atlantic, Iowa State, Louisville, St. John's, Georgia, as tough as the schedule has been, you guys are still over 500, and that has to make you pretty happy, pretty proud of this uh, of this squad. It does. We, we, we've had some very great outings. Uh, we competed very well, and we, we, that's, that's our goal is to go in and, and compete for seven innings. Uh, there's been times that we haven't lived up to that yet. Uh, games that we feel we had the uh, opportunity to win that we haven't been able to. Uh, but wins over Louisville, like you said, wins over Virginia Tech, uh, th those are big to grow on for the rest of the way. Now if we get that consistency level uh, where we need it, we start conference play in a week and a half. Uh, we've showed that we can compete with anybody. So I, I think talent-wise, we're as good as anyone in the Big South. Now it's putting it all together to start Big South play but, next week. Yeah, and before we get to that Big South play, you've got two against South Carolina State on Wednesday afternoon, two against USC Upstate on Thursday. What are your expectations for those games as they prep you for that conference part of the schedule? Well, at South Carolina State, uh, record-wise, you went on, on paper, it seems like a game that we should be able to take care of business, but they swing the bats really well. Uh, so you go into a, a team, go into their own home place, and they have the ability to put up some runs offensively, it, it's, it's always going to be a dogfight. And then South Carolina Upstate, uh, they have one of the best pitchers in the region. So it's always a fight with them. Uh, Morgan Childers, she's, she's an All-American style pitcher. She's got an ERA under one. Uh, very, very solid. So it, it's going to be a dogfight for the week. Uh, looking forward to that springboarding us to next week's games and getting us ready for conference play. Right in the middle of an 18-game road swing. You've already played four. You've got 14 more consecutive road games coming up before you're back home. Uh, and i got to think it's important that you guys don't lose too much ground. You mentioned many of those games are in conference. Mm -hmm. It's going to be important to go into other people's places on their fields and come away with victories. Uh, we know going into the season, if we want to be successful this year, we got to win on the road. Uh, the conference tournament's on the road. And the NCAA tournament, once we get there, hopefully is on the road. So we got to learn, learn to win on the road. Uh, we set up a lot of road games this year, more so than usual, uh, to battle test our team. So we're looking forward to that uh, getting us ready. And it's something that we definitely hope pays off at the end of the season, like you said, conference tournament and then the NCAA tournament to follow. Shane Winkler, best of luck this week against the Bulldogs and the Spartans. We'll talk to you next week, Thank hopefully you. after four victories. Exactly. All right, that's Shane Winkler, head softball coach of the Charleston Southern softball team. And like we said, his team plays a double dip against South Carolina State on Wednesday before facing USC Upstate on Thursday. That does it for this Buccaneer update. We'll see you next time right back here on CSUSports.com.